Hello, hello guys. This is Rizwan Ali, and today I am giving my background about DNA. So I am originally from the Hunza Valley. It's a mountainous region in the northern Pakistan, and it was an isolated community for like hundreds of years. So people live in an isolated community in the northern Pakistan, and it was uh, surrounded by high mountain ranges like Himalayas, Karakoram ranges. So there is a debate about our ancestry uh, right now. So some people believe that our ancestors came from all the way from Macedonia and Greece with Alexander tribes. Some believe that we are from Central Asia and some says that our ancestors are from Mongolia. So I need to figure it out who are our ancestors for the people of Hunza. So I bought that kit for ancestry.com which tells your uh, ancestry. And let's start with that stuff, how it works. So it has a manual in there. And it says I have to activate my, there is a small tube where I fill my saliva. So I have to activate that tube first. So then let's see what how it works. Meanwhile you can show Buffy to them. DNA kit is activated now so it's activated now so first of all it says I have to fill the tube with my saliva so here's the tube fill the tube until saliva till the black wavy line so you see the black wavy line until that, I have to fill my saliva. Sorry for my dog. <laughs> so I, I, let's see how much saliva I have in there. Oh, I have to keep that thing on. Sorry. So I filled my saliva with uh, uh, until that black mark, and now we have the stabilizing fluid for the saliva. So remove that funnel, and we need to this thing up and until that fluid goes to that saliva and let's see it's not going with the saliva I need to shake for like five seconds uh, shake it for five seconds and and we have uh, the collection bag so it's the collection bag you put it in here in the collection bag and need to and they have a mail your samples so they have a mail thing so you can track your mail as well on USPS tracking and you just pack this thing up and it will come back after our test results thank you hello guys welcome back <coughs> finally my DNA test came back they sent me an email so it says explore, explore your DNA so Let's see what happens. I'm so excited. So it says here your DNA history. Okay, let's go down. So the estimates are oh wow, Brucio, thirty-seven percent, sixty-eight percent Brucio, and thirty-two percent South Asian. That's interesting. I didn't know that they know about Brucio people. So let's see what this <laughs> say about Brucio people first. So wow, the existing people have the detailed DNA thing. So let's see what it tells about. So Brucio region is as I told you from the northern Pakistan. So they knew I 
Our brochure region is named that people lived in the Hai Hunza Nagar and Yasin Gurdi. Blah 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 blah. View, let's see the history of the region. So here's yeah, I, I assume that's a Central Asian region as well. So uh, high life, yeah, we live in mountains. Uh, we have Karakrong Himalayas there. So yeah, I'm so I'm so like you know, it was interesting that they have the history of Russia people, but they still have the they say the mysterious past. So it's not clear that where they came from. Some people they say they came from Alexander. Some they say from the Central Asian people. So linguistics, they still have no clue what's going on with the linguistic and joining modern world. And here would say which is also bad. It's not clear where Bushu came from. Yeah, that I knew that. And Russian Bushu DNA. Yeah, this is interesting. Though Bushu DNA sh does show some links with both Central and East Asia in their past. So yeah, I'm I'm curious that if they do more research on it. Yeah. So this is my DNA story. 68% Bushu and 32% South Asian. So I'm a bit South Asian and more Bushu. So yeah, I'm happy for my ancestry and hope you like the detailed video and see you guys soon. Forget him.